Hello and welcome to CSIT 316, Web Development Using Content Management Systems. And this is going to be our final session which talks about optimization of WordPress. Please do stay with us as we go through optimization of WordPress. Now this session takes a look at how to optimize WordPress in order to improve its performance and efficiency. Now performance and efficiency of every website is key to the growth of the website and we'll see uh, a number of tips that we can use as website administrators for our WordPress to obtain a fast and efficient website. Now after completing the session you should be able to identify the factors that affect the performance of your website. Now describe how to measure WordPress performance and also identify the tips to consider in optimizing your WordPress website. Now when you run a high uh, traffic web WordPress installation or a small blog on a low cost shared uh, host, you should optimize WordPress and your web server to run as efficiently as possible. Now this session is going to give us a broad overview of WordPress optimizations with specific recommended approaches. Now what are the things that affect performance? The first one is the number of servers. The second one is the hardware performance. Now let's look at the number of servers. Now once you're dealing with very high traffic situation, it may be necessary to employ multiple servers and do some load balancing. Next, we look at hardware performance. Your hardware capability will have a huge impact on your site's performance. The number of processors, the processor speed, the amount of available memory, the disk space, as well as the disk storage medium. Now they are SSD storage, which is very fast. So this is what we recommend if you have very high traffic situation. Now another thing that affects the performance of your website is how you configured your WordPress installation. Now your theme will have a huge impact on the performance of your site. A fast lightweight theme will perform much more efficiently than a heavy graphic leading inefficient one. Now the number of plugins and their performances will also have a huge impact on your site's performance. Deactivating and deleting unnecessary plugins is a very important way to improve performance. Now server load, the amount of traffic on your server and how it's configured to handle the load will have a huge impact as well. For example, if you don't use a caching solution, performance will slow to a halt as additional page requests come in and stack up, often crashing your web or database server. Also, another thing to consider, which is a factor that affects the performance of your website, is the size of your graphics. Make sure that your images in your post are uh, optimized for the web and it will save time, bandwidth and the necessary uh, search engine ranking. Now how do you measure performance? You can use some tools available on the internet to do that. One of them is Google PageSpeed. You can use Google uh, PageSpeed as a way of measuring your WordPress site's performance and receive clear specific feedback on how to make improvements. You can use New Relic also provides a free library for measuring the server performance in PHP, MySQL, or MariaDBs. You can use Linux Top, provides a dashboard for your server's real-time performance. You can use Vanish Cache. Vanish Cache helps assess the performance aspects of your caching tools. You can also use Zen Server Z-Ray, provides an X-ray vision and deep insight into your WordPress PHP application. Now, optimization tips that you can employ include installing caching plugins. Now, caching plugins can easily be installed and will cache your WordPress posts and pages as static files. These static files are then saved to users, reducing the processing load on the server. Now, this can greatly improve the performance of several hundred times over a fairly static pages. Now, browser caching as well can help reduce server load by reducing the number of requests per page. Now having the right names for images. For example, the names you choose for your images must be unique. Consider choosing images, keeping the user in mind. Use keywords that might be helpful to the users. Have some specific names for images you don't forget. And add your alt tags and title tags to your images. 
if your image is about chocolate sundae ice cream, then do not mention the name as DC, DSC12346, which is the default name you might be getting from the camera you use to capture the image. Instead, you can label it as chocolate hyphen sunday hyphen high street restaurant hyphen new york dot jpg this would be much easier to search now also use permalinks that contain keywords now we have spoken about permalinks and the permalinks you use must be understandable for example you use www.mywebsite.com forward slash don john do forward slash telagana instead of using my website.com forward slash page hyphen ID question mark 56314-56325. Now also have optimized themes. As we mentioned, the theme you select for your WordPress website has a great impact on the performance of your WordPress website and therefore choosing optimized themes is the way to go. Number six, we try to connect posts to social media. Now, social media is a very important uh, aspect in today's blogging and website development. So have them connected to your blog uh, post pages, etc., to have good rank and popularity. Now, delete your trash box. Always consider clearing your trash for more speed and to have a good flow with your website. Also, you should be checking your website statistics. The size of your page matters a lot. The more images, flash videos, or media-related posts on your page, the more it would be slower to load. Now, check plugins. Have many plugins. Having many plugins in your WordPress may also be a reason that your web loads slowly. So keep a check on your plugins, which are which you are working on, consider checking your plugins before adding them. And if you have any unused plugins, please make sure you delete them. Our reference for this particular session has also been the optimization, how to improve performance in WordPress from the WordPress.org website. Thank you very much for staying with us. And we have come to the end of CSIT 316, which is web development using content management systems. And I have been your instructor, Michael Agbutetisoli, from the Department of Computer Science. Thank you.